Today for Reading Workshop, we are going to use what is called envisioning and other strategies to help us figure out unfamiliar words. I know you've been through classes where when you come across a word, they tell you to look at it within context. And that is true. That's one of the strategies. But we're going to use another strategy to help us figure out some of these words. I know that when you've been reading your stories, you guys have come across difficult words. And one of the first things that you resort to is running up to myself or Mrs. Lukasiewicz to ask us what the meaning is. And while Mrs. Lukasiewicz and I have gone through school, we have master's degrees, and we've read a lot of nonfiction stories, there are still words every now and then that stump us. But we are able to look at the word and look how it's being used to make what is called an educated guess. And that is going to be a strategy that you're going to learn how to use today. So let's get started and pay close attention so you can figure out those unfamiliar words when you come across them in Reading Workshop and in your nonfiction books. So the secret I'm going to share with you guys today is that the best readers don't already know what every single word in a book means. That's insane. The best readers work really hard to figure out what a tricky word means. And one of the best ways that we can do this is to create a mental picture of what's going on in that part of the story and to think about what would make sense and then to make an educated guess based on what that word means by creating that image in our mind, putting ourselves in the story, and seeing what's happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you this little part of the story uh, about the Exxon Valdez, which was an oil tanker that spilled oil all over the place. And I created some images here off to the side to let you know a little bit more about the Exxon Valdez. Uh, but I'm going to read this story, and I am going to stop, and I am going to go through the envisioning process when I come across a word that I may not know. So here we are. The gigantic ship moves slowly underneath the clear night sky. The Exxon Valdez weighed more than 200,000 tons, and was 987 feet long. It had just left Valdez in Alaska, carrying a huge cargo of crude oil to California. The massive vessel, known as VLCC, or Very Large Crude Carrier, had a crew of 20. She was under the command of Captain Joseph Hazelwood, an experienced sea voyager. Captain, there are some growlers ahead warned the officer on watch. Growlers are small icebergs. They weren't large enough to sink the Exxon Valdez, but they could dent her hull. All right, so I'm going to stop there because I'm kind of questioning in my mind, what is a hull? So I'm going to picture what's going on in the story. I can picture the boat moving along the water because it said it left Alaska and it was going to California. <clears throat> I can see an iceberg, or what is otherwise known as a growler. I never knew that before. I find that interesting. That could be one of these vocabulary words that I hold on to. But we see a growler, which is an iceberg, in the water. So I'm assuming that if a boat hits this iceberg or this growler, that it's not going to dent the top of the ship. It's going to dent the part of the ship that's in the water. So I can make the assumption, I can make an educated guess by creating that picture in my mind of seeing the boat going through the water and seeing the iceberg and then imagining what part of the boat would hit that iceberg because it said it wouldn't sink the ship, but it could dent its hull. Well, which part can be dented? The part that's in the water. So I know that the hull is a part of the ship that's at the bottom. So do you see what I just did there? I took in all the information I pictured it in my mind, and it helped me answer that question of what a hull is. And that's what you need to do when you come across an unfamiliar word in your stories. No matter what you're reading, you are always going to encounter unfamiliar words or even tricky phrases. This happens to any kind of reader, whether you're a first grader reading picture books or you're a grown-up scientist reading about nuclear energy. You're going to hit hard parts, but it's about what you do when you hit those hard parts. What do you do to figure out those words? 
and more importantly you got to remember those definitions so when you come across those words later on in your stories you have it added into your vocabulary and you've remembered what those words are and that's going to lead me to today for our expectations for today you're going to look for unfamiliar words and you're going to make an educated guess of what that word means then you're going to put each word in that educated guess on its own post-it note your goal this is a challenge is to incorporate these new words into your vocabulary and you can do this by doing two things you have to use them when you talk and when you write and then you need to use your new word at least 20 times to have it become a part of your vocabulary it's not an easy task but when you do it it will be a part of your vocabulary and you'll look back on it as a huge accomplishment good luck today I look forward to seeing your new words I love vocabulary